Ryan Brothers just set the record for the most titles for a team. Let's go take a look at what makes him so great. Practice makes perfect. Guys, how are you feeling? Feels really good. Um, you know, we got the pressure off our back. We have uh, the all-time titles record. It feels, uh, feels pretty, pretty sweet. Well, we saw some of the drills that you were doing. You're doing a quick volley drill. Why is that so important to the success of your doubles? Well, these are drills that we were doing since we were six years old. And I don't think a lot of young kids do doubles drills at that age. But Mike and I were always trying to get as many trophies as we could. And that was playing singles and doubles every week. And uh, yeah, we, we worked on our hands. We had uh, doubles idols. We looked up to the Jensen's, Ricky Leach, who was from Southern California. So these drills, uh, they work on the movement, like independence of the hands and feet. So when you're getting volleys away from your body or in weird positions, you can get some stick on it. Yeah, and this, these are drills we did forever, so uh, kind of developed our quick hands. Choke. Well, what's left on the bucket list? You've won all the Grand Slams, a Davis Cup title, 62 titles on the ATP World Tour. What is left on the bucket list for the Brian Twins? We just want to keep getting better. Uh, you know, when we come out to practice, we're always working on little things. Uh, we see Knowles and Nestor, they're 38 and 39, and they're still playing. Uh, we, want to, we want to have the longevity in our careers, and uh, you know, if we, uh, we play another five years, who knows, our titles might be way out there, but we're just trying to have fun and uh, keep improving and staying eager. How did you guys celebrate your historic win? Well, we've been doing a lot of interviews like this. Uh, <laughs> for the last seven days, you know, we've been talking to a lot of people, which has been cool. Uh, we had our friends and family, you know, we spent three hours at the courts, just kind of reminiscing with all the, all the people that have supported us our whole career. Barclays World Tour Finals has been a huge goal for you guys, and it's been a huge moment in your past couple of years. Last year, the last match of the year, you captured the number one ranking. The year before, it went the other way, where you lost the number one ranking. Um, how big of a goal is it for you guys to make it back to the O2 Arena? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're uh, really striving to to go in there as a number one or two team and have a shot to finish the year number one. Uh, obviously, you have the eight eight best teams, so you're trying to uh, finish the year strong, trying to show the, the last eight teams that you're the best. And uh, I think we did that last year. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big time event in London. Uh, they should really showcase doubles, and uh, we want to bring our best stuff. How is the Brian Brothers Band doing? The Brian Brothers Band is strong. You know, music's a lot of fun for us, and it's shown us a lot of new places and new people. Well, the Brian Brothers, you're great ambassadors for the sport. Congratulations on your quest now to 100. I'm setting the bar out there. The Brian Brothers, I don't think so, 100. <laughs> That's where we want to go with HP World Tour titles, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on the HP World Tour Uncovered. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're behind the scenes for Access All Areas as the US Open hots up in New York. And we find out how 2009 US Open champion Juan Martin Del Potro is progressing on his long road to recovery. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.